Hi guys and welcome to Nick's Home Renovation. In this video I'm going to let you know how much an extension costs in 2022. So behind me here is an 8 metre by 4 metre bath extension, single storey. And as a part of the same quote we also removed a garage and put a side extension on this property as well which was around 10 metres by 2 metres. For those that haven't seen these videos before, I'm at my 1936 bungalow renovation. This was a small detached bungalow in Kent, um, around 850 square foot, including the garage. We knocked down the garage, built a side extension, a back extension, and also a loft extension. Um, and in this video, I'll go through all the costs, saying what we paid, and um, hopefully help you guys out if you're looking to do an extension in the near future. Our extension was slightly different. Um, we got a structural only quote because we know, we're fortunate to know lots of tradesmen who are very good we've used over the years. Um, so we just wanted the builder to do all the structural work, all the drainage, and we sorted out everything internally. But I'll go through everything and tell you what we paid inside and out to really help you out. But first of all, I'll take you on a little tour. So this is the back extension. This is the eight meter by four meter back extension. So the old house used to end here and then it came back in like this and was about here. So technically we had to get planning permission for around a four and a half meter extension rather than the standard four meter extension that you can get through permitted development because the house wasn't even, which most houses aren't, it came across here. So we had to apply for about four and a half meters just to get this little bit of a gap we have in here. And then we've also removed walls to make this an even bigger space as well. So this is the eight meter by four meter back extension. And I'll take you through now to what was the old garage extension. So this is the master bedroom at the front. This bay window was always here as part of what was an old lounge. And where you can see these, the brickwork in here and the steel across there, everything beyond that point was the old garage and part of our side extension. So it created this extra space, which will be for built-in wardrobes and maybe a dressing table area. It gave us enough room for this ensuite. which we just put a shower in. It's about 1.8 by 1.8, this ensuite internally. Really pleased with how that's turned out. And it gave us behind where that ensuite is an additional bedroom as well, which is here. And this gave us our fifth bedroom in the property. We stole a bit of the space from what was the lounge here again you can always tell by where the steels are so if you look on the ceiling here this is our steel so that was the old edge of the old house the garage was back here somewhere and we removed that garage and then just extended there and then we stole a tiny bit of space here for this bedroom which was the old living room and then this side of the wall was the utility that you saw from the front here So it was a really good idea by the architect to split that living room up to gain an extra bedroom and a really nice utility. So I'll take you through my quote um, and I'll tell you things that were included and weren't included and I'll do my best to talk through all the costs possible. Obviously it's very difficult and very building specific to where you are in the country and what type of property you have. But this is what we paid and hopefully it helps you out. So for this back, the rear and side extension. Um, the quote for structural work only was £36,400 plus VAT. So including VAT, maybe around £44,000. That included groundwork, block work for the side and rear extension, removing the old roof on the house and garage, a fiberglass flat roof um, down the side here where that bedroom is, new floor joists, um, chipboard flooring, stud walls, steel work, which you saw steel work everywhere. So there's, there's a steel up here, across there, that's hidden into the loft space. 
one across the back here, and then you saw the two in each bedroom as well. That all forming new doors, concrete roof tiles, fascias and soffits, guttering, um, screeding of the floor. So all of these floors are solid concrete floors. Um, so the screeding for that. New soakaway in the garden, drainage alterations, flat roof insulation, and then obviously removing the waste, scaffolding, things like that. So that, that, that is what it did include. And what it didn't include um, was electrical work, because as some of you might know, I'm an electrician, so I did all the electrical work. To put a price on that is difficult. Um, I think on a property this size, around 1,700, the going rate is generally around sort of eight to 10,000 for a rewire. Um, this property in particular has got a lot going on with Cat6 cables and lots and lots of lights. So it probably would be at the higher end, believe it or not. So per room, including a kitchen, you're probably looking around 1,500 to 2,000 of electrics. I would have thought at least, um, and in the bedrooms, probably a bit less so, but I think you'd do well to get a price around a thousand pounds for each room, to be honest, these days. The building work didn't include plumbing works. So again, hard to know specific rooms, but my plumber for the whole property was around 11,000 pound, including copper pipes, all the pipe work. That doesn't include the boiler. That was about 2,000 pounds on top, or about 1,500 pounds on top, because we've got a really powerful one to support all the bedrooms and three bathrooms. Um, so to break that down by room is difficult, but again, for the kitchen and utility, I would probably say, well, with the boiler work, you're probably looking around two and a half thousand pounds for a plumber. Um, if you're just talking about the ensuite, you could probably get cheaper around sort of 1500 as there's less plumbing work there. But obviously within the builder's quote, there was all the drainage alterations as well. So for the bathroom, he just had to do the toilet, sink and shower and tower um, to deal with that. So nothing drainage wise, that was all dealt with the builder's quote. Uh, and then soil pipes, floor insulation, plaster boarding, none of that was included. So that's all something that I've incurred. Plastering, again, we paid for the whole property. So that was around 7,000 pounds to plaster this whole 1,700 square foot bungalow. So if you're breaking that down per room, I'd say probably five to 600 pound per room as an average is a really good guide. And then obviously in this room, kitchen works, door lining, skirting and architraves, internal doors, external doors, none of that is included in this. I can go through it quickly. I will do a video specifically on this kitchen that I'm actually posting today. Um, but as a rough guide going around quickly, these bifold doors were around four to four and a half thousand pounds as a guide. That is a huge opening though. So this whole wall is around 7.7 .7 meters from memory. So that's nearly a six meter door, I believe we have there, maybe five point something from memory. Um, so that's around four and a half thousand pounds. But if you have less of an opening than that, it would obviously be cheaper. And then we have kitchen and all those expenses. This is a kitchen from DIY Kitchens at around 6,600 for the units. Appliances probably two and a half thousand. Worktop was about three and a half thousand because it's 30 mil. Courts, and then there's just all the small details like architraves we got from Howden's, doors we got from Howden's, but I'll cover all of those specific details in my kitchen video. This is just a really rough guide of what you're gonna get. So obviously the kitchen is usually the most expensive room in a property anyway, so the extension including that side bit, and you're gonna be well into the 60,000 um, for the two extensions put together. This kitchen cost around 19,000, including if you think of every aspect of it, i.e. paying the carpenter, it's probably about two and a half to three and a half thousand to fit the kitchen, fit the utility, fit the flooring, miscellaneous woodwork in window sills. Um, and I've already mentioned the plumbing cost as well. So the kitchen was around 19,000, but hopefully, as a general guide, without those things I've excluded, uh, the 36,000 for these two extensions was our base cost, and hopefully that's of some use to you guys. 
Um, at the end of this video, I've filmed a time lapse of this extension going up. I think it's really cool, literally from the back of the old house, which is where I was standing, well, a minute ago here. So this used to be the back of the old living room or one of the old bedrooms. And literally from here, I've got a time lapse of this wall being knocked down and then this whole extension going up, including the start of the kitchen bar event too. So hopefully you guys will be interested in seeing that as well. And hopefully some of my costs are um, helpful to you guys. It's fairly difficult, as I say, because we're doing a whole project, not just a specific extension. But um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help out if I can. Good luck to anyone taking on a renovation or doing an extension.
Thank you.